we're now going to look at the Abbey program, which is another program that you'll become very familiar with your time working here at ADS. Now Abbey is right up here. I'm going to double click and open it. Now Abbey, when it opens, will give you several options right off the bat. And depending on what you're doing, you might want to choose some of these various options. Now, as you can see, Scan to Microsoft Word, we don't use any of these first four scanning features. We do all of our scanning through Capture Perfect. Um, I've actually never tried doing the scanning directly into Abby, but I don't think Abby talks to the scanner very nicely. Um, usually what I 90% of the time did was I chose Open to open a file. Now, if you have this option here, convert PDF slash Im images to Microsoft Word. If you have um, a document that is all text, there's no images, there's no numbers, there's no, uh, by numbers I mean math equations, there's no graphs, it's just straight up text, usually the convert PDF to images to Microsoft Word works pretty well. But most of the time we're going to choose open here. and then we are going to pick our article wherever you had your article. We're going to go into new scans and we're going to pick how we decide chapter 3. Now, Abby is going to take a while and it is going to open all 36 pages and it then has to read them for the layout of the page so that it understands what is text, what is images, what is important, what isn't. And then it has to analyze the text within the boxes. So I'm going to hide that and pull up one particular page here. Now in Abbey you have several boxes that are important. Over on the left there is where all of your pages are and they're in order. Um, they're in the order that they were scanned. One of the great things about Abby is that while Capture Perfect will scan and one page will be right side up, one page will be upside down, Abby realigns all of the pages for you. And then box two here is the image and this is the actual scan. This is this is what Abby has recognized. So these green boxes say that it is recognized that those are text areas and anything outside of the boxes it's not going to deal with. Um, here you can s tell it to analyze, to do it again. You can tell it, you can manually draw text area, picture area, table areas. Um, the tables can get very complicated. Um, and then one thing that often needs to happen is you need to go in and edit image. Now, this has to happen all the time unfortunately because a lot of these documents are going to get fed through screen readers and screen readers are very powerful programs but they're dumb. They will read exactly what's fed into them. So you're going to go in and you're going to delete extraneous things. So like the chapter number, page numbers. I'm just going to go in um, most screen readers handle footnotes very well, so I usually leave those in if they're relevant like this, if they're just a um, reference, I usually take them out because all of the references will be contained at the back of the book in the references section. So then you go through and you delete all of the extraneous information, so all you have on this page is just the text. After you do that, you need to highlight all of your pages. I usually do this by clicking the first page, scrolling all the way down, holding the shift key, clicking the last page, and you need to tell the program to read them again. From that point, if you, if you take a look, number three, box three here is the text, and this is what Abby thinks that it sees from the image. And anything in highlighted in blue is an uncertain character, where Abby's like, I think I've got it, but I'm not quite sure, so I'm going to double check with the user. And then I'm trying to get 
so they're the typical word you know underlines if it doesn't know the if it doesn't know the word etc and because this is just text mostly it's going to be 99 percent plus accurate so in that case I'll just highlight all of the pages again this time I'm going to do it by clicking in the document window here and uh, pressing control a and then you go to file save as Microsoft Word document it will pull the name of the file for you and then you'll just click save and it'll save as a Word document that is the basics of Abby